Hello my lovely Sagittarians. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'm here to do your March 2020 love reading um, or within a month's time of when you view this because time is fluid. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading. It will not apply to every single one of you. I wish I could do that but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy please email me. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personals. It's on the community tab as well as my website. And don't forget to support me over on Patreon. These love readings will be extended. Um, so we're going to cover how you feel, how they feel, mutual energy, what you want, what they want, advice um, over here. And then over on Patreon for the bonus material, we're going to cover obstacles and blocks for the both of you. So what's keeping you two apart or what you need to work on in your love life in general especially if there isn't somebody specific in mind because we all have blockages um, and I will provide some advice on how to move through those as well as actions that you should take they should take overall potential outcome for within a month's time um, and I will cover these advice cards as well as what they want to say to you or what Sag wants to say to the cross watcher whatever um, I always do extra stuff over there anyways um, I meant to get to this reading yesterday, but I've been, as you guys know, more than likely, um, because I've said it a million times, I've been having some health issues, and, um, I was in the ER on Monday, and it's just been, this week, I don't know, I've been in a lot of pain, and still can't figure out what the fuck's going on with me, but they did find some concerning spots in a CT scan that we need to look further into and I just need to deal until you know I talk to doctors and stuff so yeah I'm doing the best I can and I'm feeling good enough to sit down and do this I was really pulled to do this reading so I'm going to do it because you know we gotta keep shit moving <laughs> that might be um, uh, a message for somebody to keep shit moving. Oh, po post warning, I curse, I use bad language. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. There are other readers on YouTube. I really hope that you stay though, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to change who I am for anybody. That could also be another message for somebody. Um, you know, learning to accept somebody or a situation for what it is. So if somebody tells you or shows you who they are, you should just believe them. Take it at face value. That's either for you, cross watcher, or the other person. Um, and just because they're showing you one side of them, that's probably how they're being, acting, or what they're wanting at this time. So, it, if it, if you can't accept um, the status quo, then I, it's time to pull away. Is what I feel, either for you or them. Um, because I get a sense that somebody wants to move a connection forward um, pretty consistently. I don't want to say quickly, but yeah, I mean, I feel a sense of impatience here, but, and then I feel the other side where it's, you know, let's just take baby steps, you know, let's keep it chill kind of thing. Um, I'm not rushing into a commitment kind of feeling, so I feel a difference of opinion when it comes to um, the speed at which this connection comes together. Slow is always good. It allows you to build that positive foundation, which we all want because if we don't have a solid, good foundation, then, you know, shit's just going to crumble down to pieces. Um, and I feel like that has happened to the both of you in the past with previous relationships and just life in general um, to the point where it might have been more recent for the other person. So they're erring on the side of caution like I don't want to fuck this one up kind of thing I do feel emotion here though so we'll just kind of see where this goes alright so at the bottom of the deck oh wait before I do that I did a shuffled song um, and I got stay by Florida Georgia line and I'm just gonna read a, a little bit of the lyrics and then you can go check out the song if you'd like to really pay attention to the lyrics because if this reading makes sense to you or the song seems a little fitting to your situation, just kind of pay attention. It might give you some hope or it just might be how you're feeling. Um, so, but if I told you I loved you, would it make you want to stay? I'm sorry for the way I hurt you and making you walk away. 
I should have took the time to tell you, and if I wrote you a, long, uh, a love song and sang it to you every day, would it ever be enough to make you want to come back and stay? I can't go another day without you. Uh, would it make you make you want to stay? Girl, you got to know I love you. So I feel like somebody was hiding their feelings or is currently hiding their feelings from the other person, whether it's you or whoever you're dealing with. Um, so there is a lot of love there. I just feel fear um, of either coming forward. So if this isn't an, an ex of yours, this person probably hurt you pretty bad in the past. The breakup was shit and um, they don't know how to approach the situation, but they've been missing you. And I feel like this person's probably been missing you for a while. They're just not, they don't have the cojones to come forward, you know what I mean? Um, if it's not an ex, because for the majority of you, I don't feel like this is an ex, like somebody you dated. I'm getting this storyline a lot, and usually when I'm reading for the collective, we have multiple signs in our chart, so the storylines can tend to bleed together but be different variations or different sides like one one reading could be your side the other reading could be their side blah blah whatever um but I kind of feel like you know this person it might have been somebody that you were trying to date or they were trying to date you it depends on which side of the coin you're on um, with this but it just it wasn't moving it wasn't going anywhere um, somebody could have had trust issues or you know like okay you know one minute you're all into it and then the next you pull away is there somebody else during the times you're not around me like what the fuck are you doing what are you thinking what do you want um, I almost get a sense that it's not you're not opposed to to moving slow to taking this co connection um, in a you're not opposed to moving it forward slowly basically but you need to know that it's going somewhere so it's like okay regardless of your fears do you love me do you want to try um, do you want to be committed to me do you is that what we're working towards or do you just want to be friends or are you just playing with my head it's like I need to know these answers so I know what I'm working towards um, and rightfully so that's where honest communication comes in and it is key here so if somebody is like oh, I don't know what I want or I, I want this or I don't want that or I don't know they keep changing their mind it's confusing and it's like well I'm not gonna pursue this if you can't get your head out of your fucking ass you know um, so communication needs to happen at least truthful communication excuse me even if it's blunt as fuck it's like Oh my goodness, I'm getting the hiccups. <laughs> Even if it's blunt as fuck, it needs to be spoken. So, bottom of the deck. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, if somebody wants to come back and right their wrongs, I feel like it could be exactly what I just said. So, either an ex wanting to return, somebody who screwed you over, the, you know, the breakup, the disconnect was rough, and they're they don't really know how to approach you or you're like really I don't want that motherfucker back like that might be a fear that they have even if even if you would consider it especially if they've grown and matured and whatever um, but I feel like it could also be you know just some somebody you were trying to date or they were trying to date you and it just never really got off the ground somebody just wants to come back and fix a situation between the two of you and then underneath reconciliation we have past life relationship you have known each other before so you could have known them in this life like I said I feel like you know whoever this is for um, whoever this other person is obviously with reconciliation you can't reconcile with someone you don't fucking know I mean but this could be like a past life contract that you need to fulfill with this person even if it's as simple as closure or just you know being their friend um, but I feel love here, and then we have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So I feel like you both have manifested each other into into your life initially, and you're working on it again. It's like trying to bring the situation back, and then this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so yeah, you definitely know this person. Um, like I said, it's 50-50. It could be an ex or just somebody that, that just never moved forward with. And then worth waiting for. 
divine timing is at work in your love life and then very soon after that. So I feel like somebody is going to make a decision to come in with some truth soon because they can't deny the, their feelings anymore. They can't deny the connection. I'm not saying they're going to come in and be like, Sag, I need you. I want you. I love you. Marry me. No, I don't feel like it'll be like that. I feel like those are some emotions that they process through. That The thought has crossed their mind um, because there are deep feelings. There's like an undeniable connection between you and this person, no matter who they are to you. Um, and I feel like they were trying to block it block the connection and like just shut those feelings down but it's next to impossible especially if you have a soul contract or if this is someone you are meant to have in your life for whatever reason so at the bottom of the deck here clarifying reconciliation we have the devil you could be dealing with a capricorn not necessarily but to me this is fear based i feel like this is that strong connection i know this can can seem kind of toxic because the devil's in the upright but I feel like this person or you whoever is afraid to come forward because you know out of fear of rejection I feel like there might be someone here who fears the rejection so whoever's going to approach the other ha more than likely has that fear um, but there's also a fear of commitment because of past pain so somebody's still holding on to some unhealthy negative thoughts revolving love and relationships and it could just be you or the other person holding on to what happened in the past between the two of you so if this is an ex it's like well you fucked so and so or you ghosted me you left me high and dry like um, how am I supposed to just let you waltz right back into my life kind of thing so that could be for somebody um, and if it's not that it just it just could be those um, those fears that you had that what was this person doing when they weren't talking to me why was it so hot and cold were there other people so I feel like there could be some obsessive thoughts but this is more of those um, what the fuck's going on it's it's fear based so let's see mutual energy between you and this person Sagittarius oh and by the way I'm reading this side as you Sag and this side as the other person I'm dealing with energy so flip flop it if you need to if I say you and you're like no that's them then it's them you know your life I don't um, and if it doesn't resonate don't force it to fit there might be many messages in here that can relate to your situation it might be the whole story but if it doesn't fit it doesn't fit so we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so I feel like you both are working on some past some past uh, baggage like clearing the air um, if this is an ex the mutual energy between the two I feel like no matter if it's an ex or just someone you know like the hot and cold shit whoever it is I feel like the both of you uh, you kind of want to heal the situation between between you um, for some not all of you because not everybody has children there could be um, some of you that want to heal a, a past family situation like with the mother or father of your children or child um, some of you just might be focusing on communicating properly with with your family like with your parents your siblings whatever there could be family issues going on um, some turbulence at, in your home life that you're trying to work through and it, it's basically creating blockages for you in love because that's your main focus right now but that's definitely not for everybody I feel like this is like a coming together both of you want to clear the air I felt that from the start but I almost get a sense of I don't know how why is healing family issues here please healing family issues oh goodness I feel like your guides and even family members, ancestors who have passed on, whether you known them or not, I feel like grandparent energy is surrounding someone at least, trying to guide you, 
um, and fix this situation. Yeah, to help you heal. We have the Three of Swords reversed. So this is healing family issues, healing the dynamic between the two of you. Um, I just heard realizing you have a choice in this. Hmm. Obviously, we all have free will. Maybe somebody feels obligated to work on a situation because of history or because of family ties. Maybe your parents really like this person or something like that. And it's like, okay, well, I don't want to hurt them and I don't want to piss off my family. But if that's the case, you need to do you um, and not worry about what anybody else thinks because you have to live with that person. You have to deal with them. You know what I mean? Um, and usually the people who judge other people's relationships are the ones who don't really have the best relationship going on themselves because if they did, they'd be focusing on themselves. But that's definitely not the main message. It's just there's a lot of healing energy here and I feel like it's between two people. The magician reversed. Hmm. It's like feeling... I almost feel like one person wants to heal this and the other person feels like they don't know where where to begin or maybe both of you feel that way like yeah we want to heal the situation or like there's a coming together but it's like how and I think I said that how do we do this yeah and then we have the five of cups with the three of pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck so this is being upset about it and like about things not working out and wanting balance somebody might want an apology so I feel like no matter who is coming back around towards you whether you dated them or not there is an apology that needs to be had or, like or to be given I don't know if it's on your side or their side but I feel like I almost get a sense that somebody thought this was going somewhere or was going to be more than it really was at the time and it just kind of fell to shit. There's kind of a controlling energy here too. Like with healing family issues and the magician reverse, somebody could have been dealing with um, like grew up with a, con a controlling parent or the dynamic between their parents or in their household there was somebody who was very dominant. Um, they dictated how things were going to go and maybe this person um, kind of took on those attributes and it's it, it failed with you or it failed with them because of that. Um, and somebody's trying to work on themselves so that they can kind of release those control issues. But this is just kind of feeling like it's not going to come together. I feel like I'm losing faith in a situation. So how do you feel about your person, Sag? love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so I, I see this two ways I feel like Sagittarius you are focused on yourself right now you know you're doing your daily grind building up your stability um, some of you could be getting makeovers or just you know feeling yourself eating better doing just making better life choices because you want to be happy healthy and and whatever and I feel like you're radiating because of this you've done a lot of work on yourself so you are just kind of focusing your love inward and have been for a while and I feel like that might be what's drawing this person towards you again because they're seeing how you can overcome um, like the chaos and confusion and just the obstacles that life throw like puts in your path and even though it might be difficult for you to get through the like jump over those hurdles the people around you especially this person doesn't see the struggle they just see that it's almost like you just walk through the shit smell and like fucking roses you know what I mean um, and I, I they admire that about you I also feel that with this being your feelings about this person this person could have confidence issues some you know um, deep-seated or rooted um, insecurities possibly from their past I mean just growing up past relationships whatever it could even be as simple as insecurities um, just with you because of the dynamic they might 
like be putting you on a pedestal basically thinking that you're you're doing so amazing and they can't match up like what do I really have to offer how can I make this work if Sagittarius is just doing so amazing and they're beaming kind of thing um, so you might be feeling that they need to work on that themselves that the work that you've put into yourself this person needs to do as well or you might be viewing them as that's what they're doing right now or have been doing love yourself first please too much. I did see this. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Not necessarily. Um, she's wifey. She's very nurturing. She's loyal. She's got her shit together. I, she's very powerful. She's beaming and she's beautiful and she's stable. Like I said, I feel like this is you working on yourself and you might be seeing this person doing that as well. You're very confident, and I feel like there might be a lack on this side. Um, she's also wearing a mask. So I feel like this is kind of hiding your feelings. You're not hiding who you are, but you're hiding the depths of your emotions. How hurt you were by this person, or how much love you have for them. Um, and you're just kind of standing in your power doing your own thing like showing the world what you got but they don't see they don't see the struggle you know what I mean like they don't see how you how you got to where you are and they also don't see the pain behind the mask that you're wearing that's too much can I get one more for love yourself first please some of you might feel that this person when they said they need to um, work on themselves or you feel that that's what they're doing you just might have this um, inner knowing that they're wearing a mask that they do have feelings for you um, you could feel their energy kind of approaching you we have the four of wands this is stability commitment celebration um, I just heard you need to love yourself before you can be in a commitment. So I really, with this being how you feel about this person, that's what that's what I mean. You know that this person, you feel it. You just have that inner knowing that they have these feelings for you, that they want to be in a commitment with you. Even though they're acting aloof and distant and whatever. I feel like this is you standing in your power because you want a commitment as well you're just feeling yourself right now and that's beautiful that inner knowing that's what I just said the high priestess you know this person loves you you know this person wants you I just feel like there's insecurities lack of confidence and you you're doing the work because with the three of swords reversed like on your side it's like you know, I processed through this. It's okay. I could take it or leave it. Yeah, it would suck if you didn't come back or if you weren't in my life. But, you know, I don't need anybody. I want you. I've chosen you. Choice. I said you have a choice in the beginning. I feel like that's it. It's like I don't need you in my life. I want you in my life. You, you just, you feel a connection with this person. So how they feel about you in this connection is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This person's definitely hiding their, their feelings. I get kind of back and forth energy with this person. Um, I feel like they have a lot of fun with you. You make them smile. You make them happy. You have a lot in common. Um, I almost get a sense that this person aspires to be like you because you seem like the type of person who has it all even if you don't even if you don't even feel that way they view you this way they they feel that you're you're fun and free and this person might be a little bit um, more serious day to day even if you're being serious about you know work and just doing what you need to do in your life in general when you're around this person you're more bubbly and fun and giggly and just you just have a good time you're adventurous um, and that's what they see in you and they want that in their life this person definitely views you in a very fun, a fun and free type way hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like they just want to start slow. We have the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not necessarily. But this he doesn't show his emotions. And like I said, you feel that this person, you just know that they have emotion for you. They might be acting all playful and like um, the friend zone type energy. Like, yeah, we're just friends. I, I can't have more than that with you kind of thing like I don't I don't have feelings for you I don't look at you that way but they do he has a lot of love to give and his emotions do run deep but he tries to ground himself to the point because he has a foot on a rock and then his other foot is probably touching the bottom even though he's submerged in the water he's still on the ground so it's like okay I'm not going to express these emotions to you. I might give you little little blips and maybe the way that this person is slowly expressing their feelings isn't isn't fully registering for you. It's like that's not that's how I act with my friends. Like, you know, this isn't you might feel it's not going anywhere or think it's not going anywhere but yeah they're definitely hiding their emotion for you under the mask <clears throat> yeah they're not offering any emotion not even a little bit I feel like this person wants to come in with an apology or they need to even if they're not thinking about it yet they need to come in and apologize for shutting it down because I feel like it caused them a lot of pain and we have the two of pentacles reversed it's like making a decision the four of cups and in this deck she wants this cup to me in this deck it's like it's the well no there's these cups behind her and it's like I'm not even focused on that anymore those you know they might be full they might be they might be empty. I don't really fucking care what this is, but I know what's in this cup. My intuition is telling me this is the cup I want. So she's kind of daydreaming about it. Like, I choose this cup out of all these. So you might have many options, Sagittarius, and or this person does. I feel like you both do. And this person especially is like, no, I don't want this ex, and I don't want this new person, and I don't want them. I want Sagittarius. But I was kind of up in my head and being fickle about it, and now I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix this. So if you two are not talking right now, they're definitely in their feels about you. They're in their head. They're trying to figure out what to do. I feel like they've made a decision. They're just trying to figure out their approach because they lack confidence here. And then we have the Knight of Cups right after that because that's what they're trying to figure out. Or that they're trying to figure out how to do this. Maybe this maybe this person doesn't know how to ride a horse and they're like, fuck, how do I get on this fucking thing so that I can go ride to my Sagittarius? Somebody could be having car issues. If that's not the case, it's just um, I will see somebody getting in their car and starting to head in your direction to talk to you and then they're like, nope, and turn around. Um... There's some hesitancy here still because of the lack of confidence, but this person has feels for you, Sag, definitely. And then when I dropped the card, the page came up upright. So yeah, they're definitely, they want to bring in some form of emotion, no matter how big or small, even if it's just an apology. Can I get one more for the King of Cups, please? Yep, they've done a lot of thinking about this. We have the Four of Swords reversed. So this person is not being reckless. I can tell you that right now. They can't get you off their mind. And it's like, I need to say something. So if you feel like this person has forgotten about you, they don't give a shit about you, they friend zoned you, and you're like, well, whatever, and you're just kind of doing your own thing. No, they see you, and they're watching you, and they have feelings for you. There's just, there's just those insecurities, those fears. Huh. It's at the bottom. We have the Nine of Pentacles. They might be working on their stability, their independence as well. I just feel like this person is terrified 
of you being single and you entertaining other options like somebody else snagging you up because with the Queen of Pentacles she's usually committed and with the Four of Wands that's an offer of commitment that's that, st that stable commitment um, this person knows that you have other suitors that you have people who are interested in you because especially if they see you in this beautiful light of course other people do um, and if they're on your Facebook or Instagram or any social media platform they see all those little hearts on your pictures they see the comments of of guys and girls saying how attractive you are and wonderful you are blah 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 it gives them insecurities it's like how can I compete but this person doesn't want to give up it's just they don't know how to bring it to the table I also feel that they're struggling with the fact that if they do come forward with some form of commitment they might lose their independence and I feel like that's an irrational fear because that just is what happened in the past they're comparing you to an ex or exes who have taken this away from them and I don't feel that you would do that um, so that's kinda what's keeping them stuck but they're trying to see things from all angles and it's really it's got them thinking I almost get a sense that this person's having nightmares that you're gone that that you'll never come back um, this person's trying to release some negative energy somewhere whether it's just their circle of friends or just past like thoughts and just releasing the past they could have some domineering family members like I said they could be under somebody's control hell it could be the mother or father of their children or child and they're almost scared of I don't want to say scared but yeah they're kind of scared of moving forward with you because maybe that person is psycho maybe they'll feel that they, that person might ruin this for them or cause more problems there's something going on with a family issue as to why this person is not approaching you whether it's on their side or your side anyway so what you want with them in this connection is flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others I feel like I just heard lighten up you want this person to lighten up there is passion here and you want this person to lighten up <laughs> that's pretty much what I get four pentacles it's like just let go be fun and free um, it's like I'm not asking you to fucking marry me tomorrow kind of thing I feel, I feel like what you want is for them to just release whatever is holding them back and be flirtatious and fun like you don't have to why so serious I got that for somebody else too and make a fucking decision with the seven of cups reversed it's like let go of the past crap just you know learn to enjoy the moment I've chosen you like let go of these options and all this confusion and just oh, oh that could also be for somebody let go of these options stop being such a fucking flirt some of you might view and this might be just one message for a small percentage of you some of you might want this person to stop flirting with other people it's like if you want to be committed to me um, you need to stop acting like a fuck boy fuck girl whether they're being that way or not I feel like this person is very flirty especially when they drink um, they're very on the surface with their emotions and I feel like the only reason they are that way if that pertains to you is because they do have a lack in confidence so whenever somebody calls them attractive or flirts back with them they it, it it builds up their self-esteem they rely on others they're very codependent on other people's approval um, and it's like you don't want that it's like you don't need that you need to love yourself and stop being so superficial basically I really feel like some of you have a fear that this person is like fucking everyone but you because there's secrets here there's things you don't know I feel like that's an that's a fear 
like what are you doing when I'm not around but I also feel that with the secretive energy it's hiding the emotions like I said initially you you have this inner knowing that this person has feelings for you and that they're gonna come back towards you but they're exactly you just know that they're coming back towards you with the knight of cups you feel it coming you know that they choose you so it's like why are you being so hot and cold why are you entertaining other options if you're coming back to me kind of thing you want them to come back and some of you might be like no I don't well if if you don't you don't but for the message I got in this reading you both want this reconciliation but I feel like you're not gonna put the effort in Sag you're waiting for this person to do it you're like uh, -uh I already did my part it needs to be balanced and if it's not balanced then I don't need you just cuz I choose you doesn't mean I need you you know what I mean and I said that already oh they're coming in out of fucking nowhere with the tower here the scorpionic energy could be dealing with Scorpio could have that in your chart like I said I saw water I see earth and I do see a little bit of fire air anyways yeah somebody's gonna suddenly let their guard down they're not gonna be so damn defensive um, I feel like they're gonna stop fighting against their feelings because they feel left out in the cold right now yeah they don't want to sit out here anymore they don't want to be away from you they want to come in it is something small we have playfulness and flirt and love yourself and healing energy so yeah they might come in with this teeny tiny offer but this I feel like it would be a surprise um, surprise communication a surprise offer like when I say a surprise offer and be it being small it might be them saying you know I shouldn't have said what I said to you I shouldn't have done what I did or whatever I do want to move this forward but I need time can we take this slow like you know when you wait to have sex with somebody or um, you just you build things up and you you build that friend foundation first I feel like that's what this person is really wanting and deciding they need to apologize for suddenly leaving your life too what I feel so what they want with you in this connection is stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance they don't want you to give up they want you to see them in a positive light they I feel like because of the disconnect it's really got them thinking and worried that you will find somebody else why is stay optimistic about your love life here for Sagittarius please They don't want to give up. Hmm. I'm just looking at the flowers that she's kind of holding out, and they're yellow. And it's like, to me, that's illumination, that's clarity. They want you. they don't want to make you sad they want you to be happy and I feel like you are happy like you love yourself you are happy but they want to make you happy like I just heard I don't want to be the reason for your for your tears like I don't want this to be my fault is what I feel like I'm trying to gather my bearings to come towards you Sag this person like I said, it was either ghosting or they said something to you or this is an ex and they fucking, the breakup sucked or whatever they did to you fucking sucked. And somebody is feeling a sense of um, regret for whatever they said, didn't say, or did. Six of Cups, the past. Some of you could be dealing with an ex, but like I said, I feel that, I feel a connection that didn't get off the ground um, that you wanted it to this is nostalgia this person is thinking about you like I feel like they're looking at your pictures they're thinking about the conversations you had together they're thinking about all the times you made them laugh uh, the you're like the sunshine on a rainy day um, 
you make them feel young, you make them feel youthful, and not in an immature way, in that fun, free way. I, I feel like they can be themselves around you, and this person tends to wear a mask a lot uh, around even their friends and immediate family. It's like they hide their emotions, they, they don't let people see the broken side of them or their flaws they they put on this show as if they're God's gift this person might act arrogant but they're not it's just like that macho and they might have got this from like from a parental figure like it's learned behavior you know that whole men don't cry bullshit it's like that male female whatever but that's kind of the energy I'm feeling can I get one more for the Six of Cups and stay optimistic? Three of Cups. Yeah, they want to come together with you. I feel like you are friends with this person, or you or you were. Um, there's that. There's something to do with friends. They might even be asking their friends about you, your friends about you. Um, talking to mutual friends, whether it's online or in person. I just feel like if this isn't an ex, you've known this person for a long time. If, even if you weren't friends, you've just known of them, you just knew who they were, you have mutual friends. This is also reconciliation, which we have here. And then we have the Queen of Cups reverse. She's very overly emotional in the reverse. She, um, she can be kind of needy and whiny. Then we have the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Fool. I feel like you got this person all up in their feelings, man. Like they're. Oh, I don't feel like they've had this much emotion for anyone and they don't want to hurt you they don't want to see you sad and I I feel like they're upset because you look like you don't care even though I feel like you do but they want to they want to communicate they want to drop the burdens they're done thinking about the situation they're done like with all the stress they miss the shit out of you they want a new beginning they want to transform this because there's butterflies all in here and it's like taking that leap of faith and transforming how they approach you how they how they move forward with this because I feel like I just don't want to lose you I can't lose you I can't lose you that's the energy that I'm feeling here so this person's definitely like I want to I want to heal this I want to fix this because I can't take I can't take the risk of losing my Sagittarius. What advice do you have for Sag and this person? We have the Six of Wands reversed. I feel like your advice is not to not to feed into their ego, not to give them the same amount of attention that you gave them before. So if you were doing most of the work and you were messaging this person, like initiating dates, conversation, whatever it is, um, don't give them, like, don't stroke their ego, basically, is what I said. Like, don't give them as much attention. Allow them to bring it to you. I also feel like re restrain from having sex with this person. Don't allow it to be like a one-night stand thing. Because I feel like the longer you hold out, it's almost that whole forbidden fruit thing. They, they already see you in a different light, but if you if you withhold it, it's like it makes it that much sweeter. It's almost like wine, you know, it tastes better with time. It, it, it's better with time, whatever. Um, there's already a build up here. Maybe they've already made you wait, like, for a while. What's the advice, please? We have the Empress. I feel like that's you, Sagittarius, because over here I felt that very confident um, energy, and that's exactly... <laughs> we have justice. They need to bring the justice into the situation. They need to apologize. It's not you. This does not fall on you. So your advice is not to feed into any bullshit, not to stroke their ego. Let them come to you, because the Empress does not chase. 
she just does her thing you know she's very loving caring nurturing too and she's usually like a motherly type figure um, whether you are a mother yourself or not but she's very mothering so I feel like you could have mothered this person um, in the past no matter what the connection was it was just that very you know that helpful healing energy you could have been the catalyst for them to start the healing process within themselves you know to face their inner demons as well because she can bring that shit up too but your advice is just keep focused on you you know you're doing good um, keep your head down at work just have fun do your thing but do not feed into them they need to come to you so that's the advice because they need to bring in justification. They need to bring in apolo uh, an apology and balance the scales. Yeah, they need to m make this decision. I feel like they have, but they're still not communicating it. So they, but they want to, but they're not because they're holding back and they're just watching you right now. Jesus, they're so back and forth. This person is a little unstable, especially emotionally speaking. So definitely stay focused on yourself. I feel like right now at this time, especially within two weeks to a month, this connection would not be successful. So it's just saying focus on you, do your own thing. I mean, if another opportunity in person comes up, yeah, date, go ahead, do whatever you need to do. Um, don't let opportunities pass you by um, just because you're stuck on someone. But I almost feel like you've already given up to an extent and if you haven't it's it's just in the back of your mind but I feel like you would be more willing to move on than this person so yeah they need to bring some truth and clarity into ya um, so yeah on patreon we're gonna cover the obstacles and blocks so what's keep keeping you two apart what the problems are on their side and potentially your side. I feel like you gave too much to this situation and it just wasn't balanced. That's my main thing, but we'll dive deeper into that. Your actions, their actions, potential outcome. Um, within a month's time, maybe even a little bit longer because I feel like this is the advice is is kind of what you'll be doing. Not necessarily. It can change just because this is the advice doesn't mean someone's going to do it, but you know. And then we'll cover these cards and we have um, the fork in the road, number 13 breaks down to a four, which is stability. It's like, do I want to stay single or do I want to be committed? And I feel like this is on their side. Um, so somebody's trying to figure something out and I'll read more into this. And then we have milk and honey. So milk and honey is like the whole shebang. It's having it all. It's being happy and fulfilled in life and love and whatever. It's 51 breaks down to a six, and that's the balance that this needs. So it's almost like with free will, it could go either way. Um, so somebody's being faced with a major life choice, definitely. Um, but yeah, join me over on Patreon. Any denomination, start off at 10. You can change it later on. You can cancel at any time. Um, I also have mini love readings over there, so whenever I do the generals, I don't extend those, but I do extend all the love readings. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have to pick up on your energy. Um, thank you so much for your love and support. It means the world to me. Donations are always welcomed on my PayPal, and my email is willowvines with an S, 1631 at gmail.com. Hit me up for a personal. If this resonated or not, please like the video, even if you can't see your little number, because I don't know how to fucking change that. And I need to go in the, in the settings and figure it out. But <laughs> anyways, I love you guys, and I will see you over on Patreon. Thanks.